Uh, no, I mean, there's so, still a lot. Aquaman is now officially the highest grossing DC movie of all time. What, so beat the dark. What is it, was it, it not before? It was not before. It just it was, beat. It was of the DCEU, not of DC. Oh, no, no, DC no, was a Dark DC, Knight? Everything. Dark Knight Rises was the... the ah, it And now it, is, it beat the Dark Knight wow. Rises. Wow. And Dark Knight. It's now of all of them. Out of it's every the DC movie. It's the king of the fish. Yeah. There it is. Wow. Good look, man. Good for oh, that. Oh, I tried so, to shimmy too hard on my poor shoulder. Yeah, well, Stop speaking of... That's a, look, that's a win that they needed. They, that's, that's a huge win. That's not yeah. even just like a win that they needed. That's a win that like they, they can boast. A big boast. Oh, yeah. There's just that's, that's, more that's, people. That's, that's way better than a lot There's of Marvel just, movies. Every time we break any kind of record, I'm like... What's yeah, happening? I'm with yeah. you. And f- like, you got to look at inflation. You got to yeah. look at the fact that ticket prices are pretty high. But that not trying to take any victory away. Right. There's still a lot of people that are not- I mean, well, well, here's well, the argument. There's, there should be a big argument against that is the fact that, like, because they're still in the same inflation thing that, like, Infinity War. Did it beat Infinity War? Couldn't have. No. no. It hasn't beaten. Well, how close is it? That's uh, crazy. That's even the conversation. So it's at one, uh, one billion ninety. So Infinity War is at two something, right? Is it? I think Infinity War hit Yeah, Infinity billion. War is two billion forty eight, okay. so it's right, got well, a while. Catch up, but it's I bet you it bet you beat a lot of the Marvel movies. Uh yeah. yep. The only ones it hasn't beaten are Infinity War, The Avengers, Black Panther. Yeah. And it's a big victory. Civil what do you think War, about Captain Marvel? Civil War, that? that's it. Well, four. It's close to Aquaman? Yeah. No. It's you beaten every so? Marvel movie except four. No. no. Captain Marvel doesn't have a chance to catch Aquaman. No. Hmm. The next Avengers will. Why do you say that? Um, I think that I well, first of all, where my they're tracking it at like one thirty opening weekend or whatever it might be, and that's a that's a big number. What did Aquaman do opening weekend? Right about that, actually, about so like about eighty million. Yeah. Oh, oh, less 84. than that. I think 84? I don't think there's as much. I don't think there's a much repeat business, and I don't think there's as much. Um, I, I think that by the time we get to uh, what's it, the Avengers, the second Avengers. That end that's game. it's gonna yeah it's it's end game it's just gonna it's gonna take away it is the end game for for Marvel for Captain Marvel also it's it'll stop because people just really that movie people want to see what's gonna happen because it's carrying in mm-hmm. I think that people really wanted to see Aquaman on itself just as what Aquaman was the character Jason Momoa it was the material itself that people really wanted to see where I think Captain Marvel has a lot to do with just the the serialized part to what happens next, which I think is the brilliant part I of I think that Marvel. if Captain Marvel is a good movie, a great movie, if mm-hmm. people are loving it, I think it catches Aquaman. Oh, I don't think so, but that's, that's a good bet. Difference of opinion. D- we're just different opinion. Different, different opinion. You've hit a wall. Um, so hard. Yeah, So, but, the, but number two obviously would be you get fired if you don't announce Aquaman too. Right. How do you not announce that? I mean, the, the DC fans are just, and even non-DC fans, everybody's just waiting for that. Of course. Waiting, yeah. sitting so, waiting. So is James Wan. This is why I respect the hell out is of him. Is he directing it? Okay, so he hasn't officially said yeah. yes. He is waiting for the right script to be, so there, it's in development. Right. It's going to happen no matter what. But James he's not going to rush it. He's not going to rush it. Smart. He's going to wait for the script, and I and I find but, that but really, really good. What is the good sign about this and why it's a bigger deal than even we're making it right now is the fact that we have uh, we know or we are pretty positive that Ben Affleck is no longer our Batman. Mm-hmm. We're somewhat positive that Henry Cavill is no longer our Superman, right? right? So people were talking about if after Wonder Woman 2, this entire universe was going to be rebooted Shifted. or what was going to happen. Maybe. So announcing an Aquaman 2 probably means and especially the fact that more news has been coming out about the flash movie recently probably means that they're moving forward with this crew and somehow are going to integrate sure and the other thing is too because aquaman you seem fascinated no no i am fascinated (laughs) no because what you said the reason why no they say sure because aquaman one had nothing to do with previous movies that we saw it stood on its own became its own thing yeah you can you should do the same thing with it if you happen to move a new character that's playing superman in there that's how you introduce him through this, your popular sequel so be it but but don't rely on it don't do what iron man 2 did iron man 2 just became a sequel it just became a setup to the avengers. mcu and the, and the yeah. avengers and that's and i think that's why it's it's a right that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying they're sticking with some of these characters i know yeah we're not rebooting no, no i know but you whatever whatever you do what i'm saying is don't rely on it for your next movie you don't you, you've proven a billion dollars you don't have to mm-hmm. like people didn't come to that movie because i mean maybe they they liked what they saw from jason mo inside of um justice league which he was pro- oh, ar- arguably one of the best parts of that movie um but he, that's not why they went to see it. They went to see it because it's it's the first Aquaman movie, and they set up the universe really well, and here you go. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, it's the same. People didn't see Wonder Woman because of BBS. Right. Yeah, you see a second of it. It's the first yeah. Wonder Woman movie. We, it, people were talking about it for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I've said this, and I stick to it, is their standalone movies are working. Yeah. It, it's when they try to do too much of the integration ones that they're not. The Like, I know we stand differently on Man of Steel, but money-wise, it's worked. Aquaman clearly worked. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman worked. Suicide Squad it was rushed it still worked. It made it a lot of money. Worked, made made a lot of money. And, got, and, and, and it's an Oscar so winner. Yeah. And it's but an Oscar But then you winner. look at Batman v Superman and Justice League. Those movies on paper should have made a lot more money, right? Oh, those two should have. It's, I mean, yeah. when you put Batman and Superman together and then Wonder Woman. So. Well, it's their Avengers. It's just because the, it was rushed. It was rushed. It was rushed. Yeah. So I, don't, I think that was that, a second movie out of the gate. And this is why Aquaman, to me, um, Aquaman well, 2 was. and James Wan. Batman v Superman. Uh. Yeah. Uh, James Wan saying he wants to wait and getting a good script and they if they're they will be smart and they'll listen to him